The Nigeria Center for Disease Control has said there is no state in the country that is free of COVID-19. NCDC Director General Chikwe Hekwazu said this during the media briefing of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 in Abuja, monitored by correspondents on Monday. This is coming amidst claims that Cross River State is yet to record any case of COVID-19. In his words, the DG said no single state in Nigeria is COVID-19 free, not one. No country in the world is COVID-19 free. Even New Zealand, that is an island state, is still having new cases after a period of not having Having any. He added that they will keep up with the work and continue to test people across the country. And joining us from Cross River State, uh, the only state, according to them, yet to have an official case of COVID-19, is the chairman and leader of Nigerian Medical Association, Cross River State, Agam E. Ayuk. He is also the consultant physician in the Department of Family Medicine, uh, UCTH Calabar. Good morning, Mr. Ayuk. Thank you for being with us this morning. Good morning, Amaka. Thank you for having me. Right. Cross River is the only state that doesn't have uh, any official case of COVID-19 in Nigeria, as they claim. But NCDC boss, as you heard, has said no state in Nigeria is free. Please bring us up to speed on what is really happening in the state. Is there no testing going on? Help us. Uh, thank you very much. Um, well, I totally agree with uh, the statement by the NCDC boss uh, that no states in Nigeria can say that they do not have uh, COVID-19. Right. Uh, in Cross River State, we can say as uh, representatives of the medical community that uh, we cannot say that we do not have COVID-19 in the states. We've had um, several presentations uh, that are in keeping with the um, signs and symptoms of COVID-19. So the obvious problem in Cross River State right now is that we are not testing. And uh, without testing, you cannot truly say that you do not have COVID-19. Well, th th that's, that's uh, scary to say because it now puts uh, the lives of so many people in danger, if you like. If you are not, if there is no testing going on and there are people who are showing strong symptoms of COVID-19, uh, there's a problem. So is it a case of denial? What is stopping uh, even the medical body to say, to insist on testing to begin? Well, we, we all have limitations on what we can do. We have um, so far, since the pandemic started, we've released um, four press releases, uh, one in joint in collaboration with uh, uh, other health workers, pharmaceutical Association of Nigeria, the Medical Lab Scientists of uh, Association, the Nigerian National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives, and the Medical Health Workers Union of Nigeria. And as a body, the Nigerian Medical Association will release, uh, had three press releases. And the last one was on 13th of June, where we have uh, clearly, um, uh, asked for certain things to be done. In fact, we wrote to the presidential tax force asking for an urgent call for activation of a testing center in Cross River State, in Calabar specifically, mm. uh, because uh, we have assessed the situation. And uh, our conclusion is that without a testing center, it will be difficult uh, for us to assess our true COVID 19 status, mm -hmm. knowing fully well that the disposition of the state is, from our assessment, is that they do not want to record any case since they are not actually testing. Um, we, we collected some data um, between 20th of May and up till date. We've had about 15 samples being collected, uh, specifically from the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital. But uh, as at 10th of June, which is the last date NCDC published a list uh, of tests being carried out in their molecular labs, Cross River State was still at nine. And, uh, on the 17th of May, we were at seven. On the 30th of May, we were at eight. And on the 10th of June, we are still at nine. So what happened to all the samples that were collected? Uh, it's either that the samples were not sent mm -hmm. or that um, uh, they still have to explain where all the samples they collected uh, have been disposed. We have actually written to the Chairman of the Tax Force in the States, who is incidentally also the Honorable Commissioner for Health asking for explanations. We've not received any formal explanations on um, what the explanations the 
Later, we wrote to her asking for explanations what happened to the samples uh, that were collected from patients from the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital. Uh, so what, what we are right now is that we have had several meetings. In fact, the last meeting was uh, about two weeks ago with the Honorable Commissioner, called at the instance of the Honorable Commissioner for Health the, at the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital in the presence of the uh, Chief Medical Director and other stakeholders. And we all agreed that um, we need to upscale the testing capacity of the state. And uh, fortunately for us, we have neighboring states that now have uh, testing centers. Uh, at we have our uh, Kwaibom states. And uh, we are still at a loss why we cannot do testing. And that is why we have written to the Presidential Tax Force for more or less is an SOS. Uh, we need to save Crossover states uh, because um, we are all at risk. And uh, if we do not test, we do not know our true uh, status. And it's only when we have a testing center. We have three um, facilities that could be activated for testing. We have the Lawrence Henshaw uh, uh, Hospital, which is a state-owned hospital that is also a level three biosafety um, uh, laboratory. That means it has a capacity to handle very infectious con uh, disease condition, um, uh, samples. And in the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, which is a level two biosafety laboratory, which has a level two biosafety laboratory that can carry out um, laboratory um, COVID-19 testing. And then recently we have the Nigerian Navy Hospital, uh, reference Navy, Nigerian Navy reference hospital. So we have three centers that have the capacity if the machines are upgraded, they have gene expert machines, uh, if they are upgraded and NCDC provides the cartridges. We understand that it is only NCDC that can provide the cartridges since it's highly controlled and uh, so we are calling on the NCDC. Mm -hmm. We do not want the rhetorics. We do not want high power delegations. All we want is come and activate testing centers in cross river state. If I may, if I may Calabar, ask you, uh, Dr. Ayuk, why, why do you wait for uh, the NCDC or the state's government, whom I don't know exactly what it stands to gain, not to record you know, a case to say, well, we don't want to start testing because we don't want to record a case, even if that's what it's implying, what it looks like. While you're waiting for any response from these bodies, should you take samples and go to other neighboring states if you have you know, people who are presenting very strong symptoms of COVID-19? Would there be a problem with that if it's a case of having to save the lives of many people and stop endangering others? Uh, thank you very much. From what we understand, the, the testing kits are sent directly to the states and specifically to the state epidemiologists and the commissioner for health. So as we speak, the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital do not have the testing kits. You need a specific testing kit, you need a transport medium, and all those are supplied directly to the state. So it's only when the state makes it available, or NCDC makes it available to uh, either the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, which is a federal government hospital, that uh, we can say that we can collect the samples put them in the appropriate uh, transport medium and send them to the neighboring states for testing. Mm -hmm. But right now, um, it's only the state government that has the test kits. This is really is crucial. It's not accessible to private individuals or mm -hmm. um, the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital. I mean, th this is very crucial, and I don't know how you feel as a medical uh, personnel and your, your team, you know, having to deal with this situation. We all know how serious COVID-19 is. And again, it was reported that a member of the Cross River State House of Assembly, Godwin Akwaji, died last Thursday at the COVID-19 isolation in the state. Well, has his samples been returned? And has this been confirmed? Do, do you think his death will be a wake-up call for the state government in the, you know, in the light of all that you have already said? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, condolences uh, uh, go to the family of uh, Honorable Godwin Akwaji. Um, in fact, when we heard this, we were very sure that this will be a wake-up call for everyone in the state. The Speaker, the House of Assembly members were very worried. Currently, uh, they have fumigated the House of Assembly. And um, we're believing that by now, a lot of, uh, and we are hearing that some of your family members who came in contact with him are having uh, um, symptoms that are in line with uh, COVID-19. Now, we read a report that his test came back negative. In fact, um, I don't like working on rumors. I like getting uh, information from the right sources before 
I make uh, pronouncements. Mm. As I said yesterday, I called the state epidemiologist and asked her specifically, was Honorable Godwin Akwadi sample taken to any of the NCDC approved uh, molecular laboratories? And she obviously said she does not know and said she will call me back. So if the state epidemiologist does not know where the samples were taken, how did they get the results uh, that they made available to the press? And for us, we are very confident that that sample was not taken in any of the taken to any of the NCDC approved molecular laboratories. We have we have contacts in Abakleke, in Uyo, and in Irua uh, that are possible centers for these samples to be taken. And as we speak, we've not had any affirmative. Uh, there's no uh, nobody has confirmed that samples were sent from Cross River States mm. to any of these centers. So we can say uh, for sure uh, that um, we can't vouch the result that was released uh, for Honorable Godwin Akwaji. And of course, the risk uh, cannot be cannot be the risk is much, especially to the immediate families, to so members of the State of Assembly, to the medical community, and uh, to the entire populace, mm -hmm. because once you cannot, uh, once you say somebody is negative, of course, the, uh, the issue of contact tracing, issue of isolation, and all that will not uh, be effect effective okay. or affected. All right. So, um, what we what would we think is that uh, the, from the disposition of the Cross River State Government, they are putting everyone at risk. Mm. We don't need we don't need to all die before we agree that there's something going wrong. Very and strong, very be... very strong comments there uh, from you, Doctor uh, Agam Ayuk. We we would like to invite you again for our other programs to progress this conversation. But in the interest of time for the news uh, bulletin, we will continue with other stories. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.